You have to meditate <clears throat> both with your eyes closed and with your eyes open. The advantage when you're meditating with your eyes closed, of course, is that you can give more attention to what's going on in the mind. You can see more clearly what's happening. You can put the world away. Just tell yourself right now, you don't have to think about the world at all. It's just you and your breath right now. Just awareness and breath. All the stories of the world, put them aside. All your stories in the world, put them aside. Remember, the Buddha gained awakening by putting his stories aside. And he had a lot more than you do. Think about it. Aeons and aeons. Being born in all kinds of situations. And you can imagine that certain memories hurt, but then after a while begin to just be overwhelmed by the sheer number, sheer number of different times he was born and times he was doing well, times when he wasn't doing well. And he began to realize that things are not solved by straightening out the story. You do straighten out the story to some extent to come and meditate. But you can't go back and erase all your all your mistakes. And you can't live off the good things that you did in the past, because a lot of times the results of those things are long gone. What you've got is right now. Make sure right now it doesn't have a lot of stories. Just breath coming in, breath going out. And that way you begin to see the machinations of the mind. What it was doing behind the scenes all this time. Like that character in The Wizard of Oz. He's huge on the screen, but just this little tiny man in a little, little booth, creating big issues. And when you see through that, then you've seen, oh, this is how the mind creates suffering for itself, and it doesn't have to. So when you're right here, be right here totally. Look at what you're doing right here, right now, just in terms of what's the mind is doing and how it's dealing with things coming in from the past, and what it's making out of them here in the present moment, and try to make a state of concentration. In some ways it's personal because it's your awareness right here. In some cases it's very impersonal because it's not involved with any of the stories of the past. Now you can get some real peace. Otherwise, if you want the stories to be good, no matter how many lifetimes you've lived through it, you're never going to get it right. When you realize there's no one in charge, you can take charge. You can clear up your mind right here, right now. That's something that can be done. And it can be done, be done in a way that you get to the point where nothing can undo it. So do your best to cut through the stories, and do your best to be very sensitive to what you're doing right here, right now, as you try to get the mind to settle down, as you try to keep things peaceful right here. And that way the fact that there have been a lot of stories in the past doesn't have to weigh you down. <laughs>